I expect that this will be my last video blog of 2022. The end of the semester and the end of the calendar year have put me in a reflective mood. Do you become reflective at the end of a semester? Do you become contemplative at the end of a calendar year? What was 2022 like for you? What accomplishments or milestones will you celebrate as we close out the term and the year? I do like to take time to pause and reflect at the end of each semester, especially at the conclusion of the fall semester as we prepare for a new calendar year. Those reflections have provided me with a chance to reflect on the many changes I've experienced in 2022. From the University of Kentucky to North Dakota State University. From Lexington to Fargo. From Big Blue Nation to The Herd. Wildcat to Bison. Toward the end of November 2021, I submitted a letter of application for the Dean of the College of Human Sciences and Education at North Dakota State University, but I wouldn't be invited to interview until the beginning of 2022. At one point, I had come to the conclusion that I wouldn't be offered the job because there was a delay between my interview and the offer. In fact, I told Tracy on the Friday before Margaret contacted me to make the offer that I was convinced that NDSU was negotiating with one of the other finalists because of that delay. And I was very disappointed. I was disappointed because I, I liked the people I met. I was disappointed because HSE is a great college. I loved the fact that it included programs from the home economics tradition combined with the School of Education. So I was stunned when Margaret made the offer and elated. There was a delay because the work of the committee was delayed due to snowstorms. But would there be a place for Tracy in Fargo? Before accepting, we were provided with an opportunity to visit, to investigate professional opportunities for her. As we walked out of the Fargo airport, both of our phones buzzed because of a weather advisory. We were informed that there was a snow squall in Fargo. And Tracy was literally blown backward as we exited the airport to pick up our rental car. Although we were in Kentucky at the time, Tracy and I were not strangers to colder winters. We've lived in Michigan and experienced lake effect snow. We've lived in Colorado and Iowa. Our daughter Frances was born in a wicked blizzard in Ames. But what was a snow squall, we asked. Despite the weather, Tracy connected with some folks she was eager to work with as she transitioned into full-time private practice. So, we determined that we would accept the position. The transition has been exhilarating, and if I'm honest, exhausting. I've met some amazing people we have great faculty, great staff, and great students. We have generous donors who are very kind and supportive to us. We have university leaders who are willing to tackle a very difficult situation. You, you are the reason that this transition has been exhilarating. But as I said, it has been exhausting too. Our budget situation has been challenging. In fact, one of my first tasks as Dean was to work with Jill and Jim to respond to a budget cut from the previous fiscal year. The budget challenges continued as we had to respond to another budget reduction in the fall because fewer students were enrolled. And, of course, there is the $7.6 million reduction that we are facing for the next biennium. And there will be some sort of reorganization. Exhilarating and exhausting. 
But overall, I am extraordinarily grateful for this opportunity because of great people. Again, because of you. I'd like to conclude this video, since it's the last one of 2022, by commenting on our shared transition. Change is coming. The university is adopting a new budget model that will have profound implications on our work. There are going to be fewer colleges on campus and fewer colleagues. We don't know the form of that change, but it is imminent. And we will need to adapt to that change. I take some solace in knowing that our college has proved that it is adaptable. We have a history of evolving. From courses in baking and sewing, to a department, to a school, to a college of home economics. We've grown by adding the School of Education. We went from the College of Human Development and Education to the College of Human Sciences and Education. In our advising suite, we have a sign proclaiming that we provide programs that focus on people. I recently asked you to let me walk a mile in your shoes so I could develop a better understanding about work in our college. That experience has reaffirmed my belief in the College of Human Sciences and Education. We are student focused. We offer exciting and innovative programs and majors. We train educators at a time when there was a dramatic shortage of teachers. We do important research. We make meaningful scholarly contributions. We are land grant. Our students make the world a better place. We have extension colleagues who make an impact in the state every day. We make the world a better place with our service. We enter the winter break with a fair bit of uncertainty, but I want to thank all of you for the work you do on behalf of the college. I am grateful for the opportunity to work with you. Happy Holidays.